All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bob with Bob's Leather Works in Raleigh, North Carolina. I have another C, uh, CFDA rig here, Cowboy Fast Draw Action Rig, and I'm getting ready to ship it out. But before I do, I wanted to show you this one because it is different than the other ones I have made in the past for which I have made videos. And I wanted to show you this one because uh, apart from a couple of other things, it has a greater degree of cant. In other words, a bend back. In other words, this angle right here is greater than rigs I've made in the past. And this is a, a customer request uh, of this customer to have a, a sharper angle on his uh, holster. He's a, uh, a repeat customer. I made him his first rig many years ago and it was a little more straight down or a 10 degree uh, cant and he asked me to make him one that was a little sharper because he's getting better in Cowboy Fast Reaction and he wants to increase his advantage a little bit within the rules. And Cowboy Fast Reaction rigs can be all the way up to 20 degrees which is a lot. Um, you can see a rig like this in uh, the Magnificent 7. Uh, in all of the scenes, especially in one of the opening scenes, the rig was worn by um, Steve McQueen, who actually made the first rig like it, for which uh, Clint Eastwood uh, wore his rigs after that. It's got that same swirl design on the uh, belt. Anyway, this is a 15 degree forward cant or rear cant depending upon how you define it um, cowboy fast traction rig there is the bullet deflector and this rig came out very interestingly perfect as far as I'm concerned the color on the leather went up exactly the same all over the leather didn't give it any variations um, that's how it accepted the dye so consequently it came out very evenly colored and I really like it a lot. This is the gentleman's initials, JK, which is um, off his alias with Cowboy Fast Draw. And this is my badge just to show you his badge holder that he's getting but I put my badge on it. So it's not sitting empty and lonely. And my number is 1170, and my alias on Cowboy Fest Action is Marshall Bob. So he wanted 12 bullet loops, and that's what he got right behind the gun. Let me move it over so you can see him. There you go. Right behind the gun. This one also has a very prominent slide on it. I photographed it for him, but you can see it right there. There is the belt edge guide. Right there. Okay. This is my U-Birdie uh, 1873 called Peacemaker Clone. Here is the Latigo hammer tie. Right through here. Take it off. And on this rig, I trained this holster, meaning forming it, with an old model Vaquero which has a higher percentage of fatness, I guess is a good way, to, interesting way to say it. It is a larger diameter cylinder than is a Colt, and a Ruger new model Vaquero has an, a, a different and slightly larger, as I've learned, cylinder diameter than does a Colt. So therefore, now that I'm using the old model Vaquero, to form holsters, I have can send out a rig where the gun just falls right out. And that's what he's going to get um, when, this, when this rig arrives in Nebraska, probably in about seven days, because right after I am get got done making this video, I'm taking it to UPS. So there you go. Again, come on, there you go. Again, it is new, but it falls right out. That's called zero retention. Okay. Love this gun. I had a, a lightweight um, spring 
put in the butt, hammer spring. By the way, I'm a little uh, getting over a cold and that's why my voice is a little odd. But the cold's almost gone, but the work lives on, so I gotta work. But this one cocks up real fast. She's my baby. Anyways, I'll put her aside. Okay. There is your big opening. Okay. That any of you have seen the review that Russell Duty did for me on Firearm Patriot for a rig I made for him. Uh, please go look at FirearmPatriot.com and you will see a review um, on a rig I made for Russell. And I'd be very happy to make you a Cowboy Fest or Action Rig. You'll have your initials on it. Again, right here on the belt. This gentleman likes brass, so that's what he's got. Brass Chicago screws and a brass buckle. He's got a brass Ranger Star Concho on his holster strap. And on the back of his holster, okay, there are his initials again, JK. And it, you can take your holster apart for cleaning. Unsnap this. Holster strap will very comfortably easily slip out. Then you can, if you really want to uh, get in there to clean up inside, let's say you it's been a long time and you look in there and you see a lot of dust or debris or mud or whatever from the last time you were caught in the rain, you want to get in there and clean in the back, um, just take off your um, leg thong and either try to save the latigo, get some more, um, if you really want some from me, I'll get it to you. Uh, you can use paracord for this. I mean, there's all kinds of ways to, to make a, uh, a leg tie. So that is generally it. Hope to hear from you. How to order uh, a rig for me uh, is uh, going to be in the end titles. And one more thing I wanted to show you, which I completely forgot about. So things live on, okay, is the difference between a standard rig, a 15 degree rig, and this rig that I just showed you here. Now these are the patterns that I use to lay out and cut leather to make the holster, okay. The holster is lined with rawhide as I've told you in the past. This is the pattern for a standard 10 to 12, maybe even at the most, uh, at, at the most around a 10 degree rig, right here. So you can see, there's your belt dummy, and there's your angle, right there. You can see the angle there, of the holster, okay, and there's the wings on the back. So when we move up to a more sharply angled holster, same belt, there's the difference. You squeeze this so it doesn't slip out. There's the difference. Hmm. Now this is short because I ordinarily use it just for one holster at a time. Let me see if I can make a comparison here for you. Just like this. Alright, there we go. Now I think you can see it. They're both pressed up against the edge of the belt, but this one is the more severe, sharper angle Cowboy Festra Action Holster. It's about a 15 degree forward rear cam. This is about a 10 degree. And I hope you can see that. Let's see if I can do it from the back. Give you another perspective. I can overlap them a little bit, get them in there. There you go. There's the 15 degreer, there's the 10 degreer. And that's how they differ. Okay. Okay. All right. That's how it all starts from the patterns. All right. So. Here we go with the big finish. Okay. Here's the rig without a gun in it. But 
Let's put the gun back in it again. There we go. Alright. If you got any questions, give me a call. When I take an order from you, I have to talk to you anyway because I got questions I need to ask you. So if you'd like to order a rig, give me a call. We'll talk about it and we'll get you what you want. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.